Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about this simple linear regression and how we can do this using Gretel. So let's get some data first. So here's some data which I collected from Wikipedia and from the WDI tables. This data contains countries, the GDP per capita, the divorce rate, economic growth, and which continents these countries are. So the first thing to realize here is that the information starts from row 10. Keep that in mind when we bring this into Gretel. The economic model that I want to work on is see how divorce rates and per capita income are related. So we're going to try to estimate alpha, alpha hat and beta hat given the data. So let's take the data to Gretel. So here's the Gretel icon and here's the data. And remember the data starts from row 10. So a quick way to put the data into Gretel is to drag it into the program. It asks you which row the data starts from. It's row 10 and there are two sheets. So you're going to use the first sheet which are named divorce. Say OK. It asks you whether you want to interpret the data as time series or panel data. Right now it's cross-sectional so you just say no. And here, here is where we have everything. So let's take a look. If you open up everything, just select, hit enter, and there's the data. So it looks exactly like what we had in Excel. Now the first thing to realize is that there are some missing pieces of data here. For example, we don't have the divorce rate for China and for Ireland and for Japan and Mexico, etc. So you have to be careful about that. So one thing that you'd like to do is put the descriptions for the variables. To do that, you can right click, go to edit attributes, and this is GDP per capita. So you can say income, income, and it's for the year 2018 from the WDI tables. And what is important here is if you want to see it label on the graph, how does it look on the graph and tables? You can put it here and say GDP per capita, real GDP per capita. Okay, and it gives you the description here. For D rates, you can continue and say again, edit attributes. This will be the divorce rates from Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Uh, there's a page called Divorce Demography where you, where you can pick this up, but you can put divorce rates. And this will show up in your graphs and tables. So there we go. So first thing you need to do for a critical exercise is to take a look at the distribution of the data, of the variables. Say for GDP, so right click, say frequency distribution. You can pick up the number of beans, maybe to 13. Go OK, and there is the distribution. So for you have countries which are not very rich and countries that earn quite a lot. This is GDP per capita in US dollars. But what's the average? So you can actually find this by clicking the right and summary statistics. There you go. So it's a good idea to always observe the mean. So it's about 37 that 8,000 US dollars per year for the countries that we are in that are in our sample we can also look and see what we call a standard deviation so plus or minus around $18,650 let's look at the divorce rate as well so right click frequency distribution and you can just make it more bin sizes so something like 13 say okay and those are the divorce rates so you have some countries where the divorce rate is very low many of them are around 50% or so. So you can get again the summary statistics. So right click, summary statistics, you get the mean about 40%, 41%, and standard deviation of about 13. So this tells you that divorce rates are about 40% plus or minus 13%. So what do you think the correlation between income and divorce rates are? Positive or negative? So you can select both, right click and say correlation matrix. And you'll find the correlation here to be positive 
three three. So there is a positive relationship. Now, as I mentioned before, what we're going to do is run the model where we say divorce rates are the dependent variable and income or GDP per capita is the independent variable. Of course, the correlation coefficient tells you something, but we want to make a scatter plot. Let's see how it looks. Here is a picture of the scatter plot. So you have various countries, you can see them popping up to see, right? See how powerful uh, Gretel is. And on this side, we have the real GDP per capita on the x-axis and on the vertical axis we have the divorce rates so we have countries like vietnam where is the gdp per capita is quite low but divorce rate is also pretty low uh, other countries like the netherlands and here norway where the income per capita is high and also the uh, divorce rate is also high so these are the various the scatter plot that we have do you think you can draw a line Let's see what Gretel does. So to do this simple linear regression, what we do is go to model, ordinary squares, and from here, the dependent variable, that's the one on the left here, is D rate, that we put it here, we can set it as the default, and the regressor or independent variable, in this case, will be GDP per capita. So we go OK and we get a result so how do we write this result let's try that we will see it's equal to we can write it down as d rate is equal to the constant is 31.2 then the coefficient on income is 0 0.0002 gdp per capita we can put a hat up here usually what we put down here are the standard errors that we have 5.48 for the constant and for beta 0 0.00001 so this is how we would write the regression model and whenever you run a regression model check whether the beta we get in this case we have to check three things which is s s s we check the sign we check whether it is significant and we check the size so the sign is positive, which means countries with higher income have higher divorce rates, as we saw with the correlation coefficient. The significance is to check whether it makes sense statistically. So we are testing the hypothesis where the beta is zero against the alternative that beta is not zero. So there is no relationship or there is some relationship. So decision is we're going to reject the null. We will reject this if the test statistic is big and what do you mean big so roughly in absolute terms if it's bigger than two so what's the test statistics that's the test ratio right here which is 1.94 so it's almost two so it's not yet there that's why we only have one star meaning that it is significant maybe only at the 10 percent but not at the five or one percent so significance is it's almost there but not there size refers to this number 0 0.0002 meaning that if gdp goes up by one dollar then the divorce rate will go up by 0 0.0002 which doesn't really sound good so how can we improve this model so we did a simple linear regression running divorce rates on per capita income we got this result from what we call model one which wasn't very intuitive Partly the reason is that if we actually draw the graph for the regression, so in model one, we can go to graphs, fitted and actual plot against GDP per capita. You see that we are fitting in a straight line when the data points more or less don't look very linear, right? I think it would be better to fit in a curve. Let's see whether we can fit in a curve. If we fit in a curve by putting a squared term of the independent variable, we see something that looks very much like this. So this seems to be a better fit. But we want to leave it linear. So what can we do? We can run a log form of this version. Let me explain. So we can take the log of GDP per capita by right click 
and hit this button add log or you can go up here to say add and you say log of selected variables either way it will create for you another variable which is the log of GDP per capita so if you run the regression this time with the log let's try that model over less we're going to put instead of GDP PC here I'll put the log of income and run the model this is what I have let's write it down and see what we get you have the dependent variable which is d rate is equal to the constant is minus 113.154 and beta is 14.7 log of GDP per capita don't forget the hat here you can put the standard error here as 37.6 and the standard error of beta as 3.58 so the numbers here look a little bit more manageable if you look at beta you find this 14.1 means that when GDP goes up by 1% because it's in logs so we're looking at percentage change then D rate divorce rates will go up because of the positive sign by 0 0.14 or rather one five percent we can interpret that as a percentage by moving two steps to the left this would mean that if income doubles so if it goes up by a hundred percent then divorce rates will go up by 15 percent it's more easier to understand in this way but don't forget whenever you run a regression you're checking three things s s s the sign the positive here the significance is it significant we look at the t ratio so four is bigger than two now you see the significance has also increased compared to the previous model and then you look for the size which you interpret this way draw the plot see how it looks like so it's a graph fitted and actual against the log and we'll find a nice linear graph so where all the countries you'll see are more or less placed linearly around this line okay there you go.